Kenanisa Bekele is considered by many to be the greatest distance runner in history. As the current world record holder in the 5,000 meters and the 10,000 meters, Bekele has an almost ideal combination of world-class endurance and lightning speed. From 2003 to 2009, Bekele was almost unbeatable on the track and in cross country. During this time, he won a total of four Olympic medals, seven world championship medals, and 12 international world cross country medals, a total count that very few can match. On September 29, 2019, Bekele participated in the Berlin Marathon, a race where multiple world records had been set over the past few years. At the age of 37, many thought that Bekele's better racing days were behind him. However, Bekele's grit and determination pushed him to one of the greatest marathon performances in history. After years and years of struggle, he finally put together a fantastic marathon with a finishing time of 2 hours, 1 minute, and 41 seconds, which was only 2 seconds behind the great Elliot Kipchoge's world record which he set in the exact same race just one year earlier. In this marathon, Bekele looked strong, confident, and hungry, which was a true flashback to his dominant days more than 10 years ago. Although Bekele ran this race with superb execution, the road to the two hour and one minute marathon was not easy as his marathon journey has been plagued with various injuries and multiple racing failures. In this video, we'll be looking at the great Kenanisa Bekele's training habits and how it all finally came together at the Berlin Marathon this year. To understand just how talented Kenanis Bekele is, all we need to do is look at his personal bests. From the 2000 meters all the way up to the marathon, his running resume is almost perfect, with multiple world records and multiple top 5 all-time performances on his list. In fact, Bekele has been so good for so long that even running a marathon in 2 hours, 6 minutes, and 36 seconds, as he did in the 2016 London Marathon, was largely considered an under-average performance for Bekele. Although 2 hours and 6 minutes is indeed very impressive, Kenanisa obviously had much more to prove. So how exactly did Bekele run this 2 hour and 1 minute marathon? First, let's start off with one of the most troublesome aspects to Kenanisa's marathon racing, injuries. Bekele said, when you're injured, you are very discouraged. You are not in good condition and you get heavy. You are not doing what you want to do and it's a big discouragement. I was trying to fix things and sometimes when I said things were fixed, the injuries would simply happen again. This unfortunate and seemingly endless cycle of injury for Bekele started in 2010 when he strained his calf muscle at the Great Edinburgh Cross Country Invitational. This injury kept him completely out of racing for the remainder of the 2010 season and in 2011, Bekele was unable to finish his 10,000 meter race at the Daegu World Championships. Following his disappointing 2011 season, Bekele entered the 2012 London Olympics with high hopes. Unfortunately, Bekele's injuries continued to affect him as he was unable to medal in the 10,000 meter Olympic final. After yet another unfortunate year on the track, Bekele officially transitioned to marathon road racing. Initially, this transition was quite successful as he won the 2013 Great North Run, beating Mo Farah and Haile Gabor Selassie. The following year, Bekele set a marathon debut record by winning the 2014 Paris Marathon with an impressive time of 2 hours 5 minutes and 4 seconds. In 2016, Bekele ran his previous personal best in the Berlin Marathon with a stellar time of 2 hours 3 minutes and 3 seconds, which was actually the second fastest marathon in history at the time. After this performance, many thought Bekele would inevitably go on to break the marathon world record, which would only add to his world record collection. However, from 2017 to 2018, Bekele had multiple hip and leg injuries, and sadly, he was unable to finish the 2017 Dubai Marathon, the 2017 Berlin Marathon, and the 2018 Amsterdam Marathon, where he actually sustained a femur fracture over the closing stages of the race. With so much difficulty with his marathon racing history, many were confused as to why he was continuing to push forward only to inevitably fall short of his goals. Finally, in May of 2019, Bekele, along with the CEO of the global sports communication company Jos Ermans, launched a very thorough and aggressive comeback for Bekele. 
To start, Ermans and Bekele had to address the primary issues, Bekele's weight and his injuries. As a prominent figure back in Ethiopia, Bekele has many business deals that require substantial hours to maintain. Additionally, Bekele owns and operates a full-time hotel called the Kenanisa. All too frequently, Bekele would be wrapped up with his multiple business endeavors and his diet would suffer. For quite some time, Bekele's diet was primarily hotel foods which only added to his decrease in overall fitness. After multiple years of this subpar diet, Bekele's deep passion for running was brought back after he lost his national marathon record to Mosinet Garamu, who ran a time of 2 hours, 2 minutes, and 55 seconds at the 2019 London Marathon. This time was only 8 seconds faster than Bekele's previous personal best, but it was still a new national record. In order to completely separate himself from his business endeavors and his home life, Bekele traveled to the Netherlands where he began to set up his new foundation for running. Located in the Netherlands was the Global Sports Communication Base where Bekele would be able to train full time with very little distractions. Bekele said, I'm not a 20 year old anymore. My body and training require a different approach, but I still want to run a top quality marathon before I retire. I'm very serious. I'm following my team's advice and doing my very best. Along with his new outlook on training, Armand Bettenvale, the full-time nutritionist for the NN running team, outlined a full and very rigorous nutrition schedule for Bekele. For his new training and nutrition, Bettenvale gave Bekele individualized gym exercises and carefully prepared meals. These meals included simple, plain foods consisting of proteins, rice, potatoes, vegetables, and high-fiber food with support from their partner, Daily Fresh Food. This nutrition schedule proved to be very effective as Bekele lost significant weight. In addition to this weight loss, Bekele was able to increase his training load from 45 kilometers in his first week to 150 kilometers in his final week. While his weekly mileage was increasing and his weight was decreasing, Kenanisa added yet another crucial element to his training while in the Netherlands, and that key element was rest. Back in Ethiopia, Bekele, a father of three, had very little time for real rest and honest recovery. However, during his time in the Netherlands, Bekele would take frequent naps during the day between his training sessions. According to Jos Ermans, Kenanisa's time here went far better than we had hoped, and for me, this not only reflects his incredible physical talent, but also his mental toughness. It was not easy for Bekele to make the move from Ethiopia to the Netherlands, but it was a joy to watch him develop and return to his old physique and unparalleled running style. After returning back to Ethiopia, Bekele had a new outlook on his running and he maintained a very high level of confidence. Bekele also decided to join what he considers the number one training group in Ethiopia, the Haji Group. This training group includes athletes such as Tiranish Dababa, the women's 5,000 meter world record holder, and Samuel Tafera, who also holds a world record in the indoor 1,500 meters. According to Kenanisa, the coach of this training group, Aji Adello, spoke with him about his marathon potential back in 2014. He told Kenanisa that he has 100% faith that one day he will hold the marathon world record. With this new bold training group, Kenanisa maintained his 150 km per week schedule plus his new and more strict nutrition guidelines. For Kenanisa Bekele, the difficulty in training has been finding the sweet spot between undertraining and overtraining. One of the biggest challenges for a world class athlete is maintaining such a high level of fitness. For almost 10 years, Bekele was the primary distance runner in the entire world. On the track and in cross country, Bekele was the man, and his championship racing history certainly showcases just how dominant he was. But as the years unfolded, many doubted his marathon abilities, and rightly so as he had struggled throughout both 2017 and 2018. However, as the 2019 Berlin Marathon unfolded, the distance running world again saw why Bekele is so dominant. Through the first half of the Berlin Marathon, Bekele was tucked in the pack running comfortably at the front. After passing through the first half marathon in 1 hour, 1 minute and 5 seconds, which is actually 1 second faster than Kipchoge's world record pace, Bekele and the rest of the field knew there was great potential in this race. Just before the 30 kilometer mark, fellow Ethiopian Berhanu Legesi threw in a powerful surge and completely dropped Bekele. At one point, Bekele was well over 20 seconds behind Legesi. 
At this point in the race, it seemed as though Legacy would cruise home to victory, easily defeating Michele. However, the great Kenanisa had other thoughts. Just before 38 kilometers, Bekele shifted gears and completely blew by Legacy. Now, Bekele was running right at world record pace and his pursuit of this record was obvious as he was constantly checking his watch for the time. Watching Bekele run these final five kilometers was very special. After overcoming injury and once again finding his running balance, Bekele's 2019 Berlin performance can only be described as epic. From his previous injuries to the actual race, this incredible comeback showcases Bekele's true running determination and his superior racing abilities. The fact that Bekele ran only two seconds behind the great Elliot Kipchoge's world record is nothing short of legendary. Never before have we seen an athlete struggle so much with a marathon and somehow find a way to once again recapture such a high level of distance running glory. Then again, we've never seen an athlete like Kenanisa Bekele, and it's easy to see why he's considered by many to be the greatest distance runner in history. Indeed, this 2019 Berlin Marathon is one of the greatest comebacks in distance running history, and it's great to see Bekele running in his top form once again. So, what exactly does it take to be great, and how would Kenanisa Bekele answer this question? Let us know in the comments down below what you think. Thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you all in the next video.